Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Rick Shaves. Today I'm doing a head shave for y'all. Uh, this is uh, something I do maybe twice a week, sometimes three times a week, uh, because I don't have hair on the top of my head. Now let me let you know, I do grow hair on the sides pretty well. It's just right up here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's very thin, my hairline is all the way back here is where it starts so started in my early 20s and uh i just decided you know what? i'm gonna own it and i'm gonna shave it off because you know what damn i look pretty damn good with a bald head so <laughs> no uh believe me this wasn't a, a fashion choice or anything like that i just said i'm gonna own it i'm going bald and uh uh, fortunately for me, I don't have kind of a weird shaped head or anything like that, so it looks okay. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to be using for this head shave today. Uh, the razor is my Franken razor or Frankenstein razor. Uh, I don't remember what this head, uh, what brand this head is. It's an open comb. You see the little teeth there. Uh, that shows you that the uh, it's an open comb allows for a more aggressive uh, shave. So this isn't probably something you want to use on your face if you're if you're new. But for head shaves, because for me my hair is a lot thicker and coarser, especially around the sides and the back here, uh, not so much on top. <laughs> but uh, uh, the handle is a Scotch and Stow. I don't know, it's some company I found on Amazon and I don't even know if they're around anymore. But I will tell you this, they're they're pretty awesome because uh, this handle came with uh, a different uh, safety uh, razor head and it was messed up. It was out of line, like one side of the razor was like way too aggressive and the other side wasn't even, it was like, you know, wasn't even uh, aggressive enough to cut butter. So... Uh, I wrote a review and they actually contacted me and, uh, you know, they were a small business and they said, we want to make it right. So they went and sent me a new, uh, they sent me a new head. I think they sent me two of them and, uh, you know, I, I don't, I may have them somewhere. I'm not sure, but, uh, I just thought that was pretty cool. Scotch and Stowe. I don't know if they're even still around or what, but. Uh, I just like their handle because the knurling in it, it's really aggressive. I can really feel the the bumps and ridges in here and it contours well to my hand. So this is why this is my head shaving razor because, uh, you know, things get slippery or whatever when you're shaving your head. I'm practically blind without these Coca-Cola bottle glasses I have on. So... That's another reason, you know, I, I want something that I'm going to be able to hang on to. All right, the soap, the big reveal. So this is uh, wet shaving products, tobacco, rustic shavings. It's tobacco. This is an old label. Uh, they, they've probably changed their stickers since then, maybe even changed their formula. But I bought this several years ago, and I still got quite a bit of it left. So... Oh God, I love tobacco scented soaps. This is a great one. Uh, they may still have it on their site. I'll link their site in the uh, description below. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, wet shaving products. So they have a really great soap. So I'm gonna show you that today. But man, this one smells good. Still smells good after several years of owning it. So the uh, brush, I uh, bought this a while back, a uh, Yaki. This is a Yaki brush. I think I got it on eBay or uh, Ali, Ali, AliExpress. I think that's where I, maybe I got it. Uh, so, something like that. But it's a Yaki synthetic brush. Kind of, it's called Tuxedo Knot because it's got the white tips and the black body. But uh, really nice acrylic handle here. You know, they do really good work. These work very good. And they're pretty inexpensive last I checked. So... All right, and to finish it off, I got some Clubman Whiskey Woods. This is great stuff. It's an aftershave, a smoky scent of whiskey, tobacco, and woody notes, and this smells awesome. Okay, so that's going to be the head shave. Let's go ahead and get into it. I got to take these off because, uh, you know, I 
can't have them on when I'm shaving my head. Okay, let me go ahead and wet my hair. I already took a shower. Did my, uh, you know, pre-shave routine. I like to uh, shower before I shave. I recommend that you uh, prep your hair follicles. If you're like me, what little ones you have left. Uh, <laughs> you know, just, just take a nice hot shower. Uh, get your neck back here too, because I'm going to shave that. Because you want to be walking around with a beautiful shaved head and a really hairy ass neck. So... <laughs> That will not look good. All right. Got that nice and wet. Okay, so great thing. Synthetics. Uh, just got to get them wet. And I'm going to get the soap here. I'll try and show you here on camera. Just swirl it. Little swirls. And you can already see it's starting to uh, lather up really well. Oh man, that tobacco scent. God, I love it. it. Smells so good. That's it. That's all I need. It's good to go. That's why this stuff lasts so long because you only need a little bit, really. All right, gonna do some swirls. Now, if you're like me and you can't really see, what you're doing, I mean, I can see, of course, but it's, uh, everything's blurry. My face is blurry. The brush is blurry. Y'all are blurry. No, I can't see y'all, but, uh, the camera looks blurry. <laughs> so, really bad vision. I need to get that LASIK, man. That's what I need to get. I said, they say I'm a good candidate for it. I'm just going to swirl around, swirl around. I always just add a little water because I like... I like my shave cream just a little bit wetter. Kind of stretches it out, but this looks good. I can already tell. I just look close at the brush here, real close at the brush here, but uh, I can tell that it's, uh, that's a good uh, lather on my head here. So just make sure I kind of paint it all, get everything. You got to really know your head, really map your head and make sure I throw that shirt back down there so I can really uh, know the contours of your head if you're gonna shave your head and you really can't see because especially back here I mean unless you got somehow got eyes in the back of your head or some uh, you're not gonna be able to see that so uh, typically I start with my neck because I want to get it out of the way. Light pressure at a slight angle. I let the razor do the job, do the work for me. I don't have to press down really or anything like that. I have a uh, Astra Superior Platinum in here. So, of course, my go-to razor. But that gets all the hair, any hair off my neck or whatever. And I'll just shave it. It's going to be a pretty much a BBS all around. Now, you can go do it several different ways. If you're going to shave your head, you want to shave your head. I like to go start by going up first against the grain. This is me. Uh, some people like to go with the grain and then they do an against or they do a cross first. I kind of like to do against first. I don't know why. That's just, I, I just come accustomed to it. But I get a really close shave. And then I like to kind of go cross grain as well. And right now, I mean, that's BBS, right? I can already tell it works really good. Now, the only tricky part here is the ears. Getting around the ears, making sure you don't get any, miss any little hairs there. Okay, that's one side. Now I'll do the other. If you don't know how to shave with your other hand, uh, practice. Go real slow. Your non-dominant hand. I'm a righty, so 
Of course, my left my left hand is my weaker hand, but. I just practiced, cut myself a lot, probably. Go slow. I'm telling you, you guys, that uh, you, know, you might be surprised how you look with uh, the shaved head. It's not bad. It's not a bad life. I've had, man, for shit, probably. Almost 10 years I've been shaving this way. Uh, shaving my head. And I get really good shaves. It's a really good razor. Really aggressive. Uh, it's not super aggressive. But like compared to that uh, Mercur 34C. Yeah. It's got more bite to it. So. You know, but for the head stuff, for the head stuff, it's not a big deal. Now, if I were to use this on my face, that'd be a different story. I could, you very well could use it on your face, um, but uh, definitely gonna wanna be very careful with it or go very, like a super light touch on it because like I said, you know, my head is, my skin on my head is more durable than the skin on my face. It's less, I guess, sensitive or whatever. Oh, but there's some guys that can do this, you know, guys that do the straight, straight razors and stuff. I don't have any of those. I have some shavettes. I might do a shavette video for y'all eventually. Uh, they're not my favorite thing to use. I like using safety razor. I love the the uh, safety razors. I so say you gotta kind of you're gonna have to kind of feel feel back here what's going on or uh, know your head. I like to break mine up in quadrants. So like one, two, three, four five six seven eight the lower part so i i always make sure i say okay i got the lower i got the upper i got it okay and then i feel afterwards so i'm just i'm just feeling i i know where the razor is in relation to where it is on my head You got that little speed bump back here like I do. Got to try and get in there. I like to go up and then across. And that usually gives me a really good shave. It gets all the hair. If your head becomes a little dry, all I do is wet my hand a little bit and tap it, or I'll grab the brush, and just reapply a little bit of lather. Gets it uh, nice and hydrated again, because you want that slickness, you want that, sh that shave cream is there to protect you. Protect your skin, allow that razor to Cut that hair easily. Because if you ever try it without it, <laughs> try it uh, dry shave. Jeez. Uh, You're going to be in a world of pain. Getting all of it there. Just 
making sure I'm getting these tricky areas of my neck. Okay. Now what I like to do is wet my hand. Oh man, that's BBS all the way around, yeah. Wet my hand and I like to go around and feel if I've kind of missed anything, if there's anything that feels, uh, you know, like I need to get better. It feels like too much rough stubble here. I say, okay, that's good now. Oh, that's good. That's good. We're good. Pretty much BBS all the way around. Okay. What I like to do, I like to use cold water, rinse my head. Ooh, that feels good. Some of y'all, uh, you know, winter time where uh, live up north, where, you know, I live in Texas, so it's not that bad. I think the, uh, or in February here, I'm in uh, the hill country of Texas, and I think today's high was like 78. And we're in February, okay? So, <laughs> and that's good weather for us, because in the summer, who man, we get in triple digits. Yeah, I know some of you guys live in them hot states like Arizona and Florida. Florida's really humid. We got a mix here of humidity and dry heat, so we get the best of both worlds. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see my beautiful shaved head now. How's that look? Yeah, yeah, look, uh-huh. That looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and put some uh, aftershave on. Whiskey Woods, this stuff smells great. At one point it was kind of hard to find. I, I think it's a little bit easier to find now. But oh man, I love this stuff. It goes so well with that tobacco scent. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all over my head. Nice, nice, nice. I like to put it on my neck too. There we go. Ta -da. All right. Yeah, that's good now. That's gonna make it nice and con you know, condition that scalp really good. Wow, that was such an excellent shave. <laughs> I, Always love it when it uh, winds up being so smooth and no, you know, hitches go go off. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, review real quick what we used. Start with the soap here. Wet shaving products soap. Uh, I I said I don't know if you can get this particular one anymore. Um, I know they have. They probably still in business. Uh, a lot of these places, uh, you know, I, I have to check if if they are. I, I believe they are. I'm gonna put a link in the in the description uh, for the site, so you go on there if you're interested and uh, look for the product. But it performed excellent. I mean, it really close shave, protected my scalp, uh, nice slickness. It built the lather really well, and it smells really awesome. So. The uh, brush is my Yaki brush, and uh, let me just go ahead and show you how much. Look, from that little bit of lathering I did, which was less than 10 seconds, or maybe about 10 seconds, I mean, that's still a lot of lather there, you know, in that brush. So, you it there, there's a reason why I haven't gone through this. So now maybe if I used it every day or, or every time I shave and stuff like that, that uh, it would probably uh, go faster. But, you know, since I have 50 million soaps, 
but I have a lot. I don't have 50 million, but I have a lot. Um, the razor, again, my Franken razor. Uh, you may not be able to find that. I mean, there's a bunch of companies that have open comb razors, though. Uh, Phoenix Arsenic Accoutrements, uh, I know had one. You could probably uh, find that uh, on their site. It works very similar. Actually, as a matter of fact, theirs was a little less aggressive than this one, so it could be definitely used on the face, no problem. And uh, of course, this Clubman Whiskey Woods, oh, this stuff smells so good. Now, I wouldn't recommend drinking it, but uh, if you want to smell this, like that classic tobacco, whiskey, woody scent, oh, man, that smells like a man now. <laughs> all right guys well i hope you uh enjoyed that video that's gonna do it for me my head is nice and shaved and it feels great and uh again uh if you uh, haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted to any new videos that i post okay guys well we'll see you in the next one take care